just yet because it will we'll, we'll use the end product of all of them. So if you want to kind of work through and actually measure each of these out and add them in and you should build up some form of table of all of those calculations. So you do need to work out what each of these are for each of your segments and then we'll be using those numbers at the final point. So I can show you how you use them and it probably makes more sense as to why you calculate them. So that's the final result that we're looking for there, which is literally you add all of these together and then you add all of these together and it gives you the final product which is the X. So measure along the X to 37 gives you your X, it gives you your Y, 47, so you're going up, and it gives you your Y. So it gives you that coordinate of the center of mass of the person. So that's what we're, we're aiming to get at the end of that. So then we'll check all that for final. All that for under. <laughs> So in your, in your sheet, all you need to do at the end of that is literally equals. And you can either go through and add them each one up individually, or you can type the word of sum, put a bracket, and go all the way up. Close your brackets, press one. And when you add all of the numbers in for the measurements, it will calculate that out for you so you don't actually have to do anything. The trick is, don't put the, if you're doing it in a particular order, make sure you're not putting the measurement for the thigh in your upper arm and the measurement for the you know, trunk in your forearm or something like that because that's what will throw your measurements right out. If you put the wrong mass relative to the wrong measurement. Kind of makes sense to people want me to go through something again. 